Welcome to the Just Add Water Yoga Studio. My name is Christy Wright Shell, and I wanted to walk you through a 10 minute simple movement practice to start or end your day. So find your way into a comfortable seat, cross your legs, or let them fall open out in front, but create a tall spine. Turn your palms open and rest your left hand inside your right. Close your eyes. Take a moment to just land here in your body, to feel the ground, the earth beneath you, to rise from it like the great oak tree with a steadiness, but an ability to flex as needed. Draw the breath in fully, sigh it out completely. Let this practice give you energy, release tension, and offer through your own breath the simplicity of connection, your mind, body through breath. Open your eyes and take your fingertips down by your sides. If you want to switch the cross of your legs, by all means do so. With your left fingertips down, reach your right arm to the sky. Now often right away our torso falls heavy to one side, so come back up to tall, reach the arm first. And I want you to think about someone poking you in the left side of your rib cage, and that will help round out the upper right side. Your left hand is not to lean into, but in fact to push away from. Just watch the ear and the shoulder don't come to make good friends. Push away. Roll your heart subtly open and subtly close. Sometimes it helps to use the eyes to roll open, to roll closed. Looking up and looking down with your breath is an intuitive practice. We're not forcing, not pushing, just feeling. Our sideways doesn't get a lot of attention, and so this is an opportunity to give it, gift it. Now, upper arm is starting to bend, so catch the head as you look up on this next one. Let the head land in your hand and draw the chin slightly down. Breathe in fully. Empty completely. One more. Release the arm. Come back up through center. And when you land at center, notice the difference from the left side to the right side. Fingertips or palm come down onto your right. Your left arm reaches up, palm to that far side. Notice how right away you might have slumped or slouched. Sit up tall. Imagine that poke in the side of your rib cage and go over to the left side of the rib so you're articulating that open. Take a deep breath here. Open up a little more. Maybe look under the tricep and then looking down towards the floor. And when you do that, let the body have those subtle articulations. There's an intuitive knowing and knowledge within you if you're willing to listen and notice, you'll be surprised what it has to tell you. One more here. And when you look up, you'll feel that upper arm, it starts to fatigue, so it starts to bend. You'll catch the head in your hand and press the head into your hand. Create a lifting inhale. And that expressive exhale, that little whisper in the base of the throat of Ujjayi. The hand on the floor, remember if you're starting to lean into it, push away just a little more. You don't have to lock out the elbow or the shoulder, but have some water equalities in the joints. back up through center, releasing. Take a 
moment to feel the shift of your body from side to side, from left to right. And then we'll do a little front to back. So as you catch the front of your knees, pull your heart forward, lift your chest up, and then exhale and round back. Way back towards your tail, like you almost might fall back. And then pull the heart forward, shoulders back, lift up. Trying to articulate every piece of your spine front to back. Two more. Eyes can be open or closed here. We're going to come back up to sit tall. And we'll take the legs out in front, but we'll open the legs to some degree. Now I say some degree because we all have a different access. Some can go really wide, some stay fairly narrow. We'll keep this pretty simple, just to the degree that you can reach out. Your heels are up towards the, our toes to the sky, heels down into the floor. And we'll hold the right foot in first. And what you might notice when you fold that leg in is you have a bit more space. If your knee is sensitive, Grab a little block and give it some support. Now here, we'll take the left hand inside the knee. You can bend this left knee quite a lot to give you more lift off your tail. So if you're finding yourself rounding or dropping back, bend that knee, lift up, keep your toes at 12 o'clock. Back of the arm presses into the inner knee. Feel that rotate open towards your bent knee. Take your right arm straight up, and as you breathe in, sit tall. And now as you breathe out, again, hinging now towards the left side, so accentuating, like you're getting that little poke in your ribs on the left, accentuating the right side. Now, if you're sliding the hand down the leg, you might hook your fingers under your calf or your Achilles, or you might come all the way down to hook the heel, or if you could catch the big toe, you can go there. Now remember what I said about curling in a little and opening up a little. So find a place where there's a sweet spot. Doesn't necessarily mean it feels oh so sweet, but there is that access to tension. Where you find it, settle in, take two more breaths. You might feel like you're up quite high, that's fine. You just want to feel that mid body, mid rib cage, side body release. Press off the ground with your left hand, come back up to sit tall. Turn to face your extended leg. So that was really great for that outer um, side body, and so is this. So as you reach around, bend the knee, outer shin. As you're turning and feel a rotation, you can help rotate the ribs with the other hand, reach for the ankle, maybe to the foot. Now you might feel like the arm is disconnecting, so reconnect it. And as you pull your shoulder back, you'll square your chest towards your left leg. Your left hand is here for support, for balance. You can use it to push you up or pull you forward. Crown of the head reaches forward. And again, whether you're here on your outer shin, you're halfway down the shin, the ankle or the foot, or bend the knee quite a lot and start to straighten the leg, find the degree that's working in your body. Stay for a couple more breaths. Bring the shoulders back, find the watery quality in the joints, so not feeling stiff or bound or stuck. Practice is meant to be fluid. Find the fluid in this moment. Deepening that outer right side still. And as you inhale, come all the way back up. Bring the right hand around, stretch your right leg out, and pull that left foot in. Going to the other side, back of the hand to the inner shin. Notice right away if the foot's falling out. Take it straight up, bend the knee and then turn to face your bent knee. You stay tall to start like we did in the beginning, but imagine that little poke underneath your left rib, ribs. So reach straight up 
and then articulate open. Now, wherever you are along this path, be there fully. If you're holding the foot, great. If you're holding the knee, great. Be in this with your breath. Subtle articulation in, subtle articulation out, open. And when we move with intuitive knowing, that intuitive knowledge, we get so much further in time. And when we jump ahead, when we push forward, and we miss steps along the way, we end up repeating them eventually. Keep working here. And if bending the elbow and catching the head feels good here, you can do that. One more breath. And then you'll use your right hand to press you back up to center. Undo, left hand comes around. And we're reaching across for the outer right leg. Bend the knee quite a lot to start. Again, that helps to sit us up on those sitting bones and off our tail. Start to slide your hand down the shin. Wherever you meet resistance, just be there. Push the hand down and feel your rib cage come around. Now at first it feels like a twist, but bring your left shoulder back and now bring your heart right over your knee. You can reach for the ankle or reach for the foot if you like. And again, you can bend the knee a lot to hold the foot and then you're pulling your shoulder back. And as you pull that shoulder back, you're engaging the muscles down that outer side. Let the forehead fall in the direction of the knee or the shin. Kind of let it dangle though. Keep the connection of full spine in those natural curves and waves. Take a few more breaths here. Navel towards your spine, elongating out of your lower mid back. And your next inhalation, come all the way up. Stretch both legs straight out in front. Give them a bit of a tap out. And we'll just do a simple forward fold to finish. So you'll bend your knees. When we bend the knees, so again, if, we're, if we sit and we slouch, we'll lose what we're focused on, which is getting that side body more open to get our spine longer. So as you bend your knees, roll your shoulders back, sit tall, big toes together, heels open, reach up as you inhale. Send your heart forward, your arms wrap around the sides, and you'll reach for the sides of the legs or the feet if they'll meet. Now from here, you're elongating out of your waist. And as you exhale, you're working your heels straight, which is pressing your femurs back into your hip sockets. The grip of your mat, if you're on a mat, will be really helpful here. Shoulders pull back. Again, if your hands on shins, you can hold the legs, use them as tension. Go a little bit further, test the edge. And release the feet, the legs, press back up to center. Feet flat and lie onto your back. Now I'd recommend staying on your back for anywhere from two to five to 15 minutes. If it feels good to stretch the legs long, go for it. If it's feeling like you did a lot in that lower back, then bring the knees together, feet flat. Relaxing and decompressing the sacrum. Stay here. Let the facial expression melt and soften the outer shell. That outer armor is not needed here. Enjoy the rest of your day. 